subscribe to the Defense Star channel and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Attack helicopters are crucial for every modern army. An attack helicopter is an armed helicopter with the primary role of an attack aircraft, with the capability of engaging targets on the ground, such as enemy infantry and armored fighting vehicles. Today we will compare two light attack helicopters. LCH from India and D-129 which was jointly developed by Italy and Turkey. Let's first check out the similarities between them. First, they both are lightweight attack helicopters with empty weight less than 2,500 kg. Second, both LCH and T-129 are twin-engine helicopters. While LCH is powered by Indo-French engine, the T-129 is powered by American engine. Third, both are tandem-seat helicopters with crew of two. Fourth, both are all-weather multi-role helicopters designed for missions in both day and night conditions. Fifth common feature is that both helicopters have four total hard points to carry weapons, and both feature a 20mm cannon to shoot down drones and slow-moving targets. Now let's compare their major specifications, first, their unit price, while LCH costs around $20.2 million per unit, D-129 costs $24 million which is significantly higher than the unit price of LCH. Second, their maximum takeoff weight capacity, while LCH can carry maximum payload of 5,800 kg, D-129 can carry much less only around 5,065 kg. Third, their speed, while LCH has max speed of 268 km per hour, D-129 has slightly better max speed of 281 km per hour. Fourth, their combat range, the max range of LCH is 550 km which is slightly better than 537 km range of T-129. Fifth, the service ceiling, while T-129 can only fly up to 4,572 meters, the LCH can fly significantly higher up to 6,500 meters. This makes the LCH better suited for high-altitude warfare compared to the T-129. In terms of endurance, LCH has endurance of 190 minutes which is slightly better than the 180-minute endurance of T-129. Also, while T-129 had two accidents and was shot down once by Kurdish anti-aircraft fire, the LCH has never faced any accidents. This means that the LCH has better survival and safety record compared to the T-129, apart from better specifications and safety record of LCH, there are also some other factors which contributes to the conclusion. While the LCH is more affordable than the T-129, it also performs better, which means that the LCH offers better value for money to its users compared to the T-129. Also, while the T-129 is affected by U.S. sanctions due to its American engine, the LCH with its Indo-French engine is not affected by U.S. sanctions, which means that LCH users do not have to worry about sanctions and delays in delivery. Also, the LCH is fully owned by India so any export customer has to deal only with India, but the same cannot be said about the T-129 which is jointly owned by Italy and Turkey, which means that its customers has to deal with both Turkey and Italy. Italy is a member of European Union which is known for frequently imposing sanctions for human rights violations, so a T-129 customer has to worry about sanctions from both the US and the European Union. Also, due to India's good relations with US Russia Europe and Israel, LCH users can integrate weapons and avionics from any of these countries without worrying about geopolitical consequences. From this detailed comparison, we can conclude that overall the LCH is a much better choice as a light attack helicopter than the T-129. Thank you for watching.